My name is Hannu Huhtamo and I'm a Finnish light painter and photographer. I'm a father for two children. I have two boys. I have a wife and uh, I work I have actually I have uh, different kinds of works. Uh, I do of course photography, then I do some graphic designing and I work also partly as a musician and uh, and, and also the light painting has has become like during the uh, last two maybe two years it's actually really important part of my income also. My first contact to light painting happened to my friend Janne who is also a light painter and a visual artist and uh, he showed me some of his long exposure experiments and I was like immediately hooked on the whole concept and uh, it was so magical that the person who did the light painting and the trails cannot be seen in a picture and only the light trails and the surroundings and that was that was just amazing amazing thing for me at that time uh, like during the next two weeks I decided that I have to try it and uh, I just uh, went to the store and and I got myself a DSLR camera and started practicing different kinds of light forms. I just had few flashlights and some kids light toys. I have always been interested on how people define what is beautiful and what is not. Uh, when I when I do my light paintings, uh, I try to seek for places that look a bit, bit you know, like ab abandoned buildings and that kind of locations that look a bit nasty or some dirty, dirty holes in uh, <laughs> some certain buildings. And then I try to create something uh, like op opposite on that place. I try to create like a lot of contrasts between the surroundings and, and between the light forms itself. And uh, those symmetric organic forms uh, represent, m maybe they represent something, you know, order in the middle of the chaos. And I think that's the key point in my work. Uh, if I have to name one of my works that I really like, it would be the picture called uh, Stranded. And what makes it really special for me uh, is the whole procedure of making it. Uh, it was uh, done in really extreme conditions, like extreme weather conditions. There was something like minus 20 degrees and uh, lots of snow, like uh, one meter or maybe more. And it took like maybe five tries to, to totally ex execute it and I was like so frozen at that time. But uh, it was truly worth it. Uh, sometimes I find myself using only like certain colors like blue and turquoise and that kind of tones. And it has something to do of course with the light tools I have. I use quite a lot of this electroluminescent wire, L wire, and I, for some reason, the blue and that kind of sh uh, tones are really much more brighter than the other colors, like red, for example. And uh, and when I look back at my my like other works that I've done, like during the years, I've I just noticed that I've been using that same color range quite a lot. That's, uh, that's something that a bit annoys me sometimes, but I try to live with that. Uh, if I have to name like a few artists that I truly admire and whose work I really love, 
uh, it would be if in the terms of light painting or light art, I think one of the biggest names to me is uh, Eric Staller. I find his work really amazing and he's a pioneer of the modern light painting scene. And then uh, the other would be uh, Theo Janssen and his uh, akinectic works like the Strand Beasts. I really love those, it, those are like mind-blowing. And, and the other kinetic works that I like is uh, artist Ko, who is Anthony Ho. The things that uh, really inspire me are pretty simple. Of, cor of course, many artists, they have, and, and their amazing work really inspire me, like in many ways. Uh, but I still prefer the basic things. Uh, like, I, like I said earlier, that I really uh, get much influences from the nature and the, all the plants and all the forms, all, the, all those organic shapes. I think that's like an uh, infinite source of inspiration always. There's always something new and some little details that you haven't noticed before. And of course there is, uh, if, if you think about like other artists' work, uh, they have some, some, you know, own style that you, you haven't been, you know, searched at all. And then you end up maybe taking some influences on their work too. Recently I've got some exposure on social media. Uh, Board Panda Art did a short video about me and my work and at this very moment it has something like 12 million views and I've got uh, many many uh, messages from people around the world that are inspired by my work and it feels awesome. And things that uh, led to into this point was probably that uh, CNN contacted me first and they did uh, an interview and uh, they released it on YouTube and, and that was some kind of a turning point on my light painting career, if you could say so. It's a bit hard to predict uh, how the light painting scene will develop or change in future. But I see that uh, we're going towards uh, like video and some moving, moving images. Not, so not that much stills anymore. Uh, technology is developing all the time and all the cameras are developing and, and getting smaller. You can do really awesome looking stuff with just uh, like your mobile phones. And uh, maybe, maybe you will, we will get more like three-dimensional light paintings. There, there's actually, at this very moment, there is this tilt brush uh, thing that it's, it's totally awesome because you can do paintings in three-dimensional space. And I, I see that uh, it will also affect on the world of light painting as well. In the future, it would be great to see uh, that light painting or the light art will be more widely known all around the world. Uh, we should definitely reach more uh, new kind of uh, audiences that are, like, aren't aware of the whole scene yet. So maybe that's, that's our future challenge and also a really big possibility.